Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And nearly every morning, I go for a walk to catch the sunrise, and this is the best time of the day for me. As I watch the sun gradually rises from the horizon, it makes me realize that how much we rely on the power of the sun for our existence. And cooking is a good example of how the power of the sun indirectly provides the heat for us to cook our food. For most people, stir frying always seems to associate with a lot of cooking oil film. This impression is quite common as it is perpetuated by a lot of YouTube videos. This is demonstrated in many restaurant situations where stir frying is associated with fire and lots of smoke. However, create a lot of cooking oil film is not conducible in the home kitchen. In fact, my friend Robert used to tell me that before he figured out how to stir fry properly, every time when he stir fry, he set off the smoke alarm. This to the point that his wife banned him from doing stir fry in the kitchen. In addition to this inconvenience, a cooking oil film has also been shown to have some association with lung cancer. Of course, we know that the most significant cause of lung cancer is from cigarette smoking. However, lung cancer can be also caused by environmental agents. Many of the modern-day pollutions that come from industrial manufacturing, as well as from automobiles, play a significant role in inducing lung cancer. These chemical agents causes mutation in the DNA, which change the property of cells, leading to their uncontrolled growth, and the end result is cancerous cell. A cooking oil film has been associated with cancer formation as well. A cooking generates a lot of uh, chemical compounds, particularly in the case when you fry it with oil. When oil heated to certain temperature, usually around 400 degrees Fahrenheit, they will start to dissociate. And this release of cooking oil film has been shown to be associated with lung cancer. Uh, the rate of association of uh, stir frying with uh, lung cancer is relatively low, uh, because stir frying is not a common technique in this country. Uh, how about uh, in countries where stir frying is the predominant cooking technique? So in this study, researchers looking at the impact of a cooking oil film exposure uh, on lung cancer risk uh, in Chinese women who cook with stir fry. Uh, these women are non-smokers. Uh, they found that in this situation, uh, these women have a low but significant risk uh, for developing lung cancer. Uh, however, when they uh, compare to those women who do stir frying but using a film hood uh, to extract the film from the room, uh, they found that those women has almost no risk for developing lung cancer. Uh, therefore, for this reason, it is important that you should minimize the generation of cooking oil film during stir frying. In this case, for health reason as well as for environmental reason. In the following, I'm going to provide five guidelines that you can follow that will help you to minimize the amount of cooking oil film that will generate during stir frying. First and foremost is always cook under a hood. The best hood to use is those that can exhaust the cooking oil film directly outdoor. Always try to get the most powerful hood that you can get within your budget. And also make sure you clean the filter regularly. The second guideline is to choose oil with high smoking point. Oil will start to create oil film uh, when they reach certain temperature, which is known as smoking point, when they start to dissociate. And by choosing oil with a high smoking point, uh, you can cook food at a higher temperature uh, without the oil start to create oil film. A guideline number three is always to heat up your oil slowly. Uh, if you start to heat up your oil at a high setting of your stove, uh, you should turn the stove down as soon as you uh, see the oil start to smoke. 
Otherwise, it is very easy uh, for the oil to smoke and get out of control. And at this point, you turn down the stove and let the oil smoke gently as in the case with my spot seasoning method. And number four, it is very important to know the heating capacity of the type of wok that you have. A different type of wok heats up at different speed. Uh, for example, the carbon steel wok as shown here heat up very fast. Uh, they can easily get out of control very quickly. Uh, whereas a cast iron wok as shown here uh, take much longer to heat up. Uh, so if you have different types of woks in your kitchen, uh, you should be aware of their heating capacity. Uh, number five, be aware of the type of heat that produced uh, by the burners that you have. Uh, most home burners produce the same amount of BTU, uh, but they heat up very differently. Uh, for example, when you have a gas burner, the heat comes on almost instantly. Where if you have an electric burner, such as a flat glass top electric burner that's shown here, uh, it heated up much slower. Uh, so it is wise to take time to learn the heating capacity of your stove. Uh, also, it is important to keep in mind, uh, if you have a gas stove, when you turn off the burner, the heat will stop almost immediately. But it is not true if you have an electric burner, it will take much longer time uh, for the heat to dissipate. And therefore, you should keep that in mind when you control the heating capacity uh, of the stove. And make sure you give yourself enough time when adjusting the heat uh, because of the different rate. So uh, let me quickly summarize these five guidelines. Uh, guideline number one, always cook under the hood as much as you possibly could. Uh, number two, uh, always cook with oil that has the highest smoking point. And number three, heat up the oil gradually so that it will not get out of control. And number four, uh, know the heating capacity of your wok so you can control the heat appropriately. And number five, always be aware of the amount of heat that you use during the cooking process. Uh, by following these five guidelines, uh, it will allow you to uh, reduce the amount of cooking oil film that will generate during the stir frying process. At the same time, it will let you cook as efficiently as possible. I post a video every day to introduce my fast cooking system uh, so you can make cooking as your everyday routine. Uh, you will be able to cook food that you're going to love as well as uh, have the greatest health benefits. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.